Warming temperatures are expected to trigger flooding in Yosemite. The National Park Service says the eastern portion of the Yosemite Valley will be closed. That starts Friday night at 10 p.m. until at least next Wednesday because of the Merced River that is likely to overflow. CBS 47's Esteban Reynoso with the latest. A lot of the snow melt from Yosemite Valley is going to make its way here to the Merced River that's going to overflow and go onto roads and campgrounds. The Merced River that flows through the heart of Yosemite Valley is expected to grow four feet higher than its current level, up to 11 and a half feet by Friday night. Likely where we're standing right now is where the water is going to end up. Yeah, very likely that the water is going to be coming up. Chelsea Lehman with the National Park Service says the decision was made to close all roads east of El Capitan Bridge leading into Yosemite Village. The levels that they're expected to flood to um, come out onto the road, making it unsafe for travel. A record snow year that could cause the same concern again. Every five to seven years, we have um, quite a bit of flooding in Yosemite. David Spector with the National Weather Service says the Merced River overflowing like this isn't new, and more than likely, this closure won't be the last of the season. The Merced River is getting roughly 8,400 cubic feet of water every second. Because of the um, much warmer than normal temperatures, we're expecting a lot of snow melt runoff in the mountains. Now, Tunnel View, where I'm standing right now, is going to remain open the entire week. While some guests had to be refunded or rescheduled because of the closures, the park says there could be even more closures in the future. We may see additional flooding, um, but we're, we're all keeping a very close eye on that and ensuring that visitors and guests are safe when they come into the park. Layman did not give us an exact number as to how much it costed the park to refund or reschedule those visitors, but she said that it's a very large amount of money. In Yosemite, Esteban Reynoso, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.